Alright, what's up guys, and welcome to the third Portals devlog. So this week's devlog is gonna have a lot of big changes to the game. I tried out a lot of new features of Unity that I've never tried to learn before. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, let's get into the vid. I made quote-unquote art for the keys, and enemies now have a chance to drop them when they die. I made some bad looking UI, like usual, for the keys, and it just displays how many keys you have, and what type of key it is. Chests now require keys to be opened. I saw a vid by Game Dev Guide, and he showed how to use the tile map feature in Unity, and I thought it was just a perfect idea, and my game would go perfectly with it. But oh boy was I wrong. So I searched up a brackets tutorial like any normal game developer would and I worked on it for the rest of the day and I had this. Yeah, you might be saying it looks okay, but there are a million things wrong with this and I had no idea how to fix any of them. I took a break Tuesday and I started back up where I left off on Wednesday. I had a plan to fix it all though. I'll just make a simpler version of the time lap I already have so I can get the hang of it. And I might make it look better later on when I learn how to use the time lapse. So I drew some ideas I had for some of the tiles. I couldn't work on the game Thursday and most of Friday, but near the end of Friday, I had some time to work on it. So anyways, I scrapped the whole tile set idea because I just couldn't get it to work and I couldn't figure it out. But I did use the new assets I had and then I made the zipline disappear when you get off of it. So I was thinking of other ways to make the game look better and I realized I've never used particles before. So I made it and it didn't look that good, but it looks kind of decent for my first try. I made it so that you can still jump after 0.2 seconds after you leave the ground to make for better gameplay. I fixed the flying glitch. I made art for an idea I had a while ago but I didn't know how to code it floating islands. And I made one of them stationary and the other one would move around. I made the player become a child of the moving island when it's on it to avoid any glitchy movement of the island. But yeah, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Sub, like, comment, all of that. If you have any video idea suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I'll probably do them. Alright, I'm gonna see you guys next time.